Because I've got no fluid in the joint. Okay. So it's just like boning on bone. Rub and yeah. on bone. It's incredibly painful when it does. I've ruptured it once and I can feel when it's coming on now. Mm-hmm. And w- when I did rupture it, um, I was 20 kilometers away from my car on my own and had to like bike back to the car somehow. So I'm just like scooting along, using one leg, not moving the other one because to bend it, yeah. even the slightest bend was excruciating pain. And the only way to fix it is just to not not I'll do anything. Hmm. But I had a race coming <clears throat> up and I really wanted to do the race. So the physio was like, you can't, you can't race for the mm-hmm. next six weeks. It's like, mm, but I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just figure out a way that I can race because it's going to happen. Yeah. So for the six weeks, I was allowed to do one kilometer of biking a day. Yeah. And every day I was allowed to increase that by one kilometer which when I was doing like an 85 kilometer race, the maths doesn't yeah. add up on that. Um, but I really want to do the race as a kind of a benchmark for myself before getting into more racing. So I still did it. Um, or no, actually, no, I dropped down. I dropped down to a 60 kilometer. Uh-huh. But I got third with a busted knee. Yeah. And that's when I decided, I was like, right, cool. If I can get third in a race with a busted knee, I'm going to commit to race life. 